Hello there, welcome to Brian Lomax Movie Talk and another episode of Hammer Time. Uh, looking at, yeah, the movies of Hammer Films. A uh, very distinguished production company, obviously. Uh, quite a reputation. I've been going through the box set and in this one I'm looking at The Nanny. Sorry, I'll say that again. The Nanny. Uh, this is directed by Seth Holt. It was released in 1965. It stars Bette Davis or Betty Davis. I don't quite know whether you pronounce that Bet or Betty. Um, my mum says Bet. She says she was a fan of Bet Davis back in the day. Uh, so we'll go with that. Uh, also stars Wendy Craig, Jill Bennett, um, a few other people that I don't really know to be honest, but primarily William Dix, who was the child actor at the time, who going just off his letterbox profile, only made two films, one of which is this. I, I don't know if IMDb will give me more information than that, but yeah, certainly from here, he only did two, which is a surprise, because as a child actor of this period, he does a pretty good job, it must be said. So this film follows this family, primarily this, this young boy, Joey, uh, and his nanny, who he hates. Now, this this uh, is a child from hell, so it seems. You, know, you think about movies like Orphan, uh, things like that, The Omen even, uh, Damien, that kind of child. This kid feels very much like a, a Damien forerunner. Um, and yeah, he hates his nanny, does not want her near him, doesn't want her doing anything for him. He goes on hunger strike whenever, he, whenever she cooks for, for him. Um, and it turns out that he had a younger sister, very young sister, and she died a few years back. And um, it, it seems like it was an accident. But uh, yeah, from the look of it, some of the blame may lie with him. He seems to blame the nanny. Uh, and yeah, by the look of things, something seems really off with this kid. Now, um, so the question is, what happened? What happened with this kid? Did he do it? Did she do it? Was it something else? What happened? Um, the answer to that question, and I, I won't give away the answer to that question just for those who haven't seen it, because I absolutely, definitely, positively do recommend you watch this film. Like I say, it's from 1965. I think it was ahead of its time, you know, I, I, I think of films around this period, you know, about five years, well, not about, but five years before this we had Psycho, um, and I think this, this, I certainly wouldn't put it on the level of Psycho, but as, as one of the slew of films that probably came about as a result of Psycho, I'd say this is up there, it's one of the better ones that I've seen personally. Uh, the central performance by Bette Davis as this nanny is absolutely incredible. Um, you you go, you kind of go through the ringer with this character. What you know, you, sometimes you're on her side at the beginning, then you're not, then you start to really not like her, and then certain things happen where you then begin to sympathise with her. Um, and then you and then you're flip flopping again. Then you're like, oh man, she's vile. And then you're like, oh goodness, I, man, I, I really pity this woman. Somebody help her. And it's just, it's a great film. I must say, I really enjoyed it. It it was a, a big surprise for me to, to 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 have these emotions in a film of this of this period. Um, it, it shouldn't be really because, you know, like I say, Psycho is one of my favourite movies. It shouldn't surprise me that much that a film of this age can still do that to me, can still have that reaction. Um, but yeah, great performances all around. I love the script. The dialogue in particular feels very natural. Again, give it, like, I think a lot of films of this period, dialogue wise, can feel quite stilted. Um, and at times at the beginning of the film, that did seem like it was going to be the case, particularly with the, the mother and the father. The father seems quite uppity, very kind of upper middle class. Uh, he talks in a very posh kind of way, like he's got a stick up his ass kind of thing. Um, but when we get to the kids, 
Uh, and there's this other child, this, this, this woman who's slightly older than Joey. She li- lives in the apartment above him. And when they get together and they have conversations, it feels very natural really natural. The dialogue doesn't feel stilted at all. It feels like actual things that kids of this age would say to each other, um, that they even swear at sometimes. Not, not, not really nasty language, but certainly language that I could imagine at this time being quite shocking to hear coming from children in a, in a movie. Um, at one point, this the, the girl kind of takes a bet with this kid and, and wins a, a cigarette. You know, she calls it a fag. She basically tells him to get to steal a fag from her dad, basically, from his dad, essentially, because he lost this bet with her. And yeah, like I say, I love that relationship between the two of them because of how natural it seems. Uh, yeah, so really well written. Uh, I think maybe uh with regards to the one one of the characters like the the, the the lad the joey i think there's maybe not as many surprises with him you're probably going to get a sense of where it's going but all the same when we get there it is still entertaining because like i say it's it there are some surprises still um because of how they handle this nanny character, her backstory, things that are going on. It's not quite all as it seems, even though, yes, one of these characters, you, you, you do pretty much... You, you, you know with regards to his, his guilt or innocence, essentially, but, like I say, it's still not quite as clear, clean-cut in other areas as you might expect. And because of that, it does raise this film, like I say, above above and beyond uh, a lot of the films that I've seen around this period that, you know, that came after, like Psycho and Peeping Tom and and whatnot. So, yeah, uh, very impressed, must be said. If if it had some weaknesses, um, I would say mainly the the mother character, I feel. Um, Admittedly, uh, like, to me, she feels a bit weak. I, like, there are times where I could almost like just give her a slap and say, "Just wake up, get you know, get on with life." But then again, she, you know, she has lost her daughter, and by all accounts, on the surface of things, how things look, her son has become a raving lunatic. So I get that she is a broken woman, um, but it does take her a bit. I, I think maybe a bit too much time to come around um, to. to to gain some sense. I do like the character of her sister. Um, I can't remember who she's played by. Let me just have a quick look. Jill Bennett. Yeah, so Jill Bennett, she does a very good job of this sister. So she's she's the one who, she comes over at one point to kind of look after Joey because, because of something that happens. And she is the one who kind of cottons on to what is going on and I like that reveal I like her performance yeah really good stuff there so um, ultimately it it is a film that <clears throat> doesn't really give you a true out and out villain um, you know it's 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 more a psychological drama that doesn't really want to paint characters as black and white people do things for reasons they all have traumas People all have traumas in the past. It shapes them. Um, and because of certain accidents and certain responsibilities, decisions that are, are made, um, you know, there is guilt. There is also, um, you know, sympathy that can, that can be that can be felt. It, it, it's, it's rich in that regard. Um, and, and that's essentially what the film is about, that monsters aren't always born... They're, they're created and not necessarily through abuse, but just by circumstance. Uh, it's yeah, it's a good film. It's a complex film, uh, and I highly recommend it. I give it a four out of five. I'm very tempted to go a four and a half. Um, I, but yeah, for now I'm going to settle with a four. But please, please do check out this film if you haven't seen it. It is definitely definitely one of the better hammer films that i've seen it's 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 in the top tier level so yeah the nanny four out of five from me if you have seen this film i would like to know what you thought about it 
So please do leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time, crack it.